Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a Level 2 Certified RV Inspector. But today we're going to be talking about how to plan out your RV trips using a program called RV Trip Wizard. Now I use it all the time and I really love it. I've used a lot of other tools in the past and none of them quite you know lived up to my expectations nearly as well as RV Trip Wizard. It gives me the best RV friendly routes that I can find and that's very important for me because I've got a pretty good size rig and you know I'm sure a lot of you do too but besides that it also gives me tons of useful information about the areas that I'm going through on the way uh, to my next stop and when I get there it gives me a lot of information about what's in that area too now currently I'm on a 23 stop trip and it starts in Arizona and it's going to end shortly in New Hampshire. I used RV Trip Wizard for every stop along the way and it really did a great job for me. So I find it easy to use and I find it very usable but that's me. So let me show you how I use the program and uh, then you can take a look and see if it's something that'll work well for you too. So let's go ahead and get started in RV Trip Wizard. Okay, so here we are in RV Trip Wizard, and I'm going to show you the features that I use the most often in the program. Now, there's a lot of features in this program, and if you want to go through them all, there's a guidebook that'll tell you about everything you can do. But, you know, as with most things, there's just certain features that you use over and over again, and these are the ones that I'm going to show you today. Now, what you can do is come into the program and create a trip and I didn't do that we're not going to start there today I went ahead and made a test trip as you can see here it's called test it's just a tentative trip and I put one stop on the trip and that way it'll save us a little bit of time uh, but it's very easy to create a trip you just name it you give it the parameters you want for the trip and boom you're off to the races so let's go ahead and let's open this trip. And here it is. Uh, essentially in this trip, I've made a imaginary trip that starts in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I'm going to try to make it up here to a Thousand Trails campground in Colonial Beach, Virginia. And so I went ahead and entered that stop. And as you can see, the program has selected a route for me. It's the one right here in blue or purple, I don't know what you'd call that color. Uh, but anyway, that's the route that it has selected for me. Now over here on the side, there is a fly in and fly out uh, little tab that will keep track of all the stops that you're making on a trip. So you can see my first stop right here. Of course, there's the starting point in Virginia Beach. Here's the first stop. And when you highlight that area, you've got some options. You can edit what you've done on that stop thus far. You can lock it in place so that nothing changes no matter what. You can get a little more information about the park or if you for whatever reason don't want that stop anymore in the trip then you can get rid of it altogether. But this is where all of your uh, stops for the trip will be listed over here on this little flyout. Now, the next thing to notice is right up here, these buttons. There's buttons along the top that are really, really useful. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and create a second uh, stop on the trip. And I'll use the buttons to show you how that works. Now, there's a couple ways you can make the next stop. And the first one is, if you know that you want to go to a certain area, let's just for discussion's sake, uh, say that we want to go to Hagerstown. Well, then you can go up here and uh, you can press the uh, show or hide parks area and uh, you can see all the campgrounds that's in that area. And then you just select the campground and up will come, it'll tell you the name of it, it'll tell you the ratings. Wow, this one really isn't rated very well. Uh, let's go up here to this one. Okay, it's a little better. And uh, then there's a little more details tab here. So you hit that 
and up comes this whole explanation about that uh, campground. So first of all, I'll give you the overview. Then it'll tell you the features of the campground. I really like this. How many sites there's there? What kind of sites they are? Does it have big rig access? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, connectivity settings there, you know, whether you'll get good cell service from the various carriers. You can then look at the reviews and see what people have said about that campground. And then maybe some RVers have left some tips about the campground or the area. Uh, that's really valuable to have. And uh, then, of course, uh, the weather forecast is there, too. So there's a lot of information in here on each individual campground. Let's suppose you want to go to this Falling Waters campsite. Well, then you go over here where it says Add to your trip. You click that. You fill in the information. Let's say you want to stay one night there. You could put any comments you want there. Let's say it's going to cost you $40 a night to stay there. And then you can decide where to put it on the trip. Now, if you're making the trip, you know, one stop after the other, then you'll just choose the last stop. But if you want to put it in between stops, then you can do that too. You can choose where the last stop would be before this stop that you're putting in. But now I'm just going to add that to the trip like that. And then here comes your fly in and there it is. It's the next stop on the trip. So that's how easy it is to really uh, make a stop on the trip using the campground uh, layout here on the map. Just selecting campgrounds and finding the ones that are closest to a certain area and that kind of thing. Going through them, deciding what's going to be best for you. But now, let's suppose we want to get rid of this, this particular one. Um, so we go over here to the little trash can icon. Boom. We click that and it's gone. Now we don't have that, that stop on the trip anymore. So now let's, um, let's go over here. And let's show you how to make a, uh, another stop on the trip without using the campgrounds here. And, and I see it's already laid one here, but uh, uh, let me go ahead and uh, enter the stop that I want to use here. I, I'd used this before practicing on the program, so it's left it in there for me. But... Here's uh, the stop that I was going for. It's uh, at Gettysburg Farm. Just enter that in this little area, this box up here. And you can see it'll bring up a whole list of uh, campgrounds or spots where it may, be, it may think you want to go. And there is Gettysburg Farm RV Campground. So I select that, and then it brings me right up close to that uh, campground. Now, uh, uh, once again, click on the icon there. There's the reviews for the, the campground. Go into the more details section, and it'll even give you a map for the campground if one is available. That's really neat. Once again, you can view the features, the reviews, the tips, the weather, all those things. But we're going to go ahead and add this one to the uh, trip. I'm going to stay there, well, let's make that, I'm going to stay there three days, how about that? And uh, we'll just say $40 again per night. I'm going to put it at the last, after the last stop, and add it to the trip, and let's take a look at, yep, there it is, it's right on our trip now. And notice that Trip Wizard has already come up with a route to get there, so just back out from that close-up view and we should be able to see the route that it's telling us to take. And there it is. And so that's what uh, Trip Wizard is suggesting for us. Now, how does it know what route to take? Well, when you set up each trip, you give the program the parameters for your RV, for your rig. And let's take a look at that. It'll, it'll be up here in what is called trip settings. You set that up every time you make a new trip in the program, but you can change those settings too as you go along. So let's take a look at my settings here. And right at the front, you can name the trip and so on, but here's where the magic takes place under RV Info. You tell the program 
how high your RV is, how long it is, uh, the weight. Uh, if you want to track the cost of fuel, you can even do that. You can tell it what kind of fuel it uses, what size tank, how many uh, miles per gallon it gets, and so on. And so then it will now start using this information to tell you what to expect on the route and also to route you the right way so that you don't go under bridges that are too short for you or in areas you shouldn't be in. Uh, so that is really good. Uh, that's what the program does for you that's exceptional, especially if you have a big rig. Now on the routing and driving, you can tell the program uh, things that you want to avoid. Do you want to avoid tolls, highways, ferries, tunnels, or unpaid roads? Or you can select one or any number of these. And I pretty much want to avoid everything but highways because I've got a big rig and uh, you know I want to make uh, it pretty easy on these driving trips. So you can see my setup there. Now over here, the, it'll, the program will give you driving time estimates and you can allow the program to use their estimate or if you know generally by your experiences in the past your, what your driving speed is on a trip, you can enter that and it'll use that instead. So that's kind of neat. Over here, if you want to see a radius on the map from where you are, in other words, how far away 100 miles is, how far away 300 miles is, or 500 miles, then you can put that on the map, as you can see here, and you can establish what those radiuses are. To, for me, it's a little bit of a distraction, so I don't use it. But it's really nice to see these uh, settings that you can set up. And if you've set up the info about your, your gas um, and or your fuel and uh, how much your, your tank uses and how many miles per gallon, well, uh, then here you can put the cost per gallon that you foresee, uh, how much you think camping is going to be. And so, in other words, along the way, it will track your expenses as you go. And that's uh, kind of neat. Uh, it's another good feature. I don't particularly use it, but a lot of people uh, do. So we'll just save these trip settings here. So now it's calculating and it's found this route for us from the campground that's in Colonial Beach, Virginia, all the way up here to Pennsylvania. But now let's suppose that I don't want to use this particular route. Let's suppose that you know, I want to be on 81. I feel most comfortable on a really big highway there. Well, you can do this little feature right here. Go up and click drag route. And this is cool. So then you, you put the little round icon there on the section of the route where you want to make the change and drag it over. And there you go. Now the program routes you over to 81. And again, it's going to choose an RV friendly route. Now, if you try to force the program to go away that it doesn't uh, think you should go, it'll tell you that. But that's kind of cool that it's going to do uh, uh, what you want it to do uh, if you want to make changes in, in your route. All right, so let's, uh, let's turn off dragging the route. And now let's decide, yeah, you know what? I, I think I don't need to go on 81. Well, then just go over here to that first waypoint, click the little trash can, and boom, you're right back to the route that the program uh, chose for you. So that's pretty cool. Now, here's another little feature I love about the program here. Let's get rid of this fly-in. Let's um, take, you know, zoom in a little bit on Gettysburg Farm here. Now up here is something that I like to use a lot. It's points of interest. So click that button and boom, up comes all these points of interest. How do you, does the program know what points of interest to show you? Well over here, there's another fly in from the other side, a little tab, and here you can establish the points of interest that you want to see on the map. So I have said that I want to see rest areas, I want to see the gas stations along the route, especially 
uh, diesel uh, gas stations, you know, where truck stops and things like that because I've got a pretty big rig. And uh, then I want to see Costco's. I want to see the Super Walmarts and the Walmarts. Now, if I, I want to take something off, all I got to do is just click and off comes the Super Walmarts and off comes the Walmarts, as you can see there. So it's pretty simple to set up the points of interest that you want to see on a map. So once you get there, you can look at the map, you can see what's around you pretty easily. And there's a lot of choices for points of interest here to use on the map. Now, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and put that fly in back out and turn this off. Uh, now, the other thing that's good to see is this little button right here, hazards. Because if you have an RV, you want to know that you're not going to be driving into an area where there's a low bridge. <laughs> we all know that. You've got to stay away from those low bridges. Well, all you have to do is click on the, the little icon, and in this area, just move it around a little bit, and you're going to see all the low bridges that's in that area. So it'll tell you whether there's one close to your route or places to stay away from. Now, as you keep going up into New England, you're going to see here, wow, there's just a ton of those that you want to avoid. But in this area, it's not really that big of an issue. But it's nice to know that this program will make sure that you don't get on a road where there is a possibility of a low bridge. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and get rid of the hazards now. Um, one other feature I really like here is after I have set up a trip, let's say this is my trip right here. Well, you know, when you're driving along on the highway, sometimes you go move in and out of connectivity and the uh, GPS unit that you're using might have a little bit of trouble uh, keeping up. That sometimes happens, especially in rural areas. So what I like to do is go up here and there's a lot of settings under this little wrench icon. Uh, you can send the trip to a friend. You can tell them what your itinerary is so they know what when to expect you and where you're going to be at. But right here is turn by turn. And so I click that and over here, look, I've got all the turns that uh, the program has mapped out for me on this route laid out for each stop along the way. So I print that out and then I have that with me. So if all else fails, if my uh, devices break or, or they're not working for me or I can't get connectivity as I'm going, well, I've got a printed version of the trip to take with me. And that is really cool. Okay, so I think I've showed you most of the things that I use here in the program. This program is very useful. It's very user friendly. Now I use what I create here in this program on my desktop or laptop uh, computer. Uh, once I've made the, the trip here, I will then transfer that to an app that uh, RV Trip Wizard uh, makes. It's um, called RV Life, an RV Life app. And you can import this trip that you've created here and it will give you turn by turn directions by voice as you go down the highway. So that is really cool too. And I'll make a video on how I use that app uh, later on. But at any rate, this is what I do to use the RV Trip Wizard app or um, program uh, online. Well, that's how I use RV Trip Wizard, and I hope you enjoyed it. You know, the longer your trip and the bigger your rig is, the more you need something that's going to give you RV friendly directions like RV Trip Wizard. Uh, and especially instead of something like Google Maps, you know, I use that for a little while and it got me into some tough situations. So I came to realize that, you know, tools like Google Maps and Waze and things like that, they're really designed for much smaller uh, vehicles. But if if you want RV friendly directions that's not going to get you in trouble, then RV Trip Wizard is the 
way that you need to go. And this is especially true if you tow a vehicle behind your motorhome or if you're towing an RV. Uh, it, it makes for a pretty good size rig going down the road and you don't want to get caught in situations that are tough to get out of. Now, so far on this trip, it, it has given me great directions to every place that I've wanted to go. So I'm very happy with what it's done. It's kept me out of trouble. In my experience, I can happily say is a very good one. Now, if you think that this program could work well for you, then understand that there is a cost involved. It's about $39 for an entire year to use the program as much as you want. You can schedule as many trips, as many stops as you want, $39 a year. To me, uh, that is a real deal, but uh, it's up to you to decide whether it's a value to you. Now, if it is something you want to look into a little bit closer, I'm going to put a link to the program uh, in the description down below uh, in the video description. All you have to do is click on the link. It'll take you right there and you can learn more about it. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.